Hello everyone, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, I mean, there's life and work and everything, so I didn't get much time to shoot videos in the past few weeks. But today, I'm going to share with you a very, very exciting product from Bright and Star. Um, full disclosure here, they sent me this lens for review, but um, they didn't give me any money or ask me to say anything nice about it. So it's just my pure honest opinion about this tiny little lens here. Well, I guess it's safe to say this is the smallest lens on Leica and probably not only on Leica, but on, on any full frame camera really. Because if you take the lens back cap off, this is how small it is. Amazing, right? Oh, by the way, this is a 28mm f2.8 lens. And if you compare it to another very, very small 28 lens in the Leica lineup, which is the Leica Sumeron 28mm, you'll see that this 2.8 is even smaller than this 5.6 here. So that's amazing, isn't it? But um, even though it's small, it feels quite hefty in your hand, actually. Only complaint I have in terms of design of this lens is actually the lens cap because it's a screw-on lens cap. It's nicely made, it's metal, but it takes quite a bit of time to get it on and off. So you probably wouldn't want to deal with it in the field. But if you take off the lens cap, you notice that uh, this front element here is quite exposed. So I'm not sure if you want to leave it like this in your camera bag. Um, but that being said, this lens well, I wouldn't even call it a pancake lens. It's more like a lens cap lens. Because you'll see, if I put it onto a, like a body, it literally feels like a lens cap. It barely protrudes from the body itself. You can safely say this has officially become a pocketable Leica M camera, which I don't think you can say even for this lens here, because even though it's small and tiny, it still protrudes quite a bit from the camera body, and I wouldn't feel safe um, put it in my pocket, but this, just look at it. The shape of it and how shallow it is, you can really just fit it into your back pocket, no problem, even though the camera body is still kind of heavy, but um, you can do it. So judging from the <laughs> profile of this lens, you'll be asking, how do you even adjust the aperture ring or the focus ring, right? I mean, the focus ring is quite straightforward. It works just like um, the 28 Sumeron. You have sort of a little knob here that you can focus just fine, even though it's not the best focus ring in the world. Aperture ring is a little bit tricky because unlike the Sumeron, which you can see here, still has quite a bit of depth to it. And you see, I can still use my finger to rotate it just fine. But this lens barely has any depth. So the design is quite interesting. You actually have to use your fingernails to, you know, move the ring like this. It's a bit of a pain to, to move the um, aperture ring, to be honest. But that's due to the, um, well, if you want to make the smallest lens in the world, you have to sacrifice something, right? And I guess this is the uh, most obvious shortcoming of the lens from a um, design perspective. All right, so enough said about the design and fit and finish about this lens. Uh, what about the image quality, right? Um, well, I mean, it's 2.8 lens and with this size, they still managed to fit six elements in five groups into this tiny little gem of a lens. So let's see how the image quality is by looking at these sample photos. And we'll come back here after the short clip. Yeah. 
Okay, so here you go. This is how the lens renders on both the M9 and the M10P. Center sharpness is okay. And there's really not much to complain about, even wide open. Stop it down helps, but um, you can obviously see quite a bit of vignette and smudgy, you know, not so clean image around the edge and corner of the frame, but that's to be expected due to how small this lens is. I think if your focus point is in the center of the frame, then I would say it's still uh, usable at 2.8, especially if you're shooting some environment portraits where, you know, the edge sharpness doesn't really matter. But um, if you want to use it to shoot some landscapes or architecture, which is, I guess, common subjects, for a 28 mil, then you really have to stop it down. But even if you stop it down to f5.6, the corners are still not very good. So you have to be at f8 or f11 to make the corner usable. But to be fair, due to this being the smallest and the most low profile lens on M mount or on any mount really, you really can use it as a camera body cap. As far as a camera body cap goes, this definitely produces the best image quality, right? Because I don't think your camera body cap can produce any image at all. So yeah, really no, really no complaint there. Um, Cause it's usable, you can see from the pictures, like if you're doing a afternoon walk with your dog and you just wanna bring your camera with you in a jacket pocket or your jean pocket, then this is the only viable option if you wanna carry a M body. So yeah, still amazed by how small and tiny it is. Also build quality is fantastic. It, very, very interesting lens. Um, I wouldn't recommend you to get the lens if this is your first 28 or only 28 but um if you have you know a few hundred bucks to throw around and you know experiment with new lenses and if there's a really need for you to pocket your m body then yeah this is not a bad option at all okay so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you've uh, enjoyed it and let me know, what do you think about this lens? Would you consider it? Or would you rather choose something like the Leica 28 Sumeron or the TT Artisan one, which I've reviewed, which is also amazing. Also small, but not as small as this one, of course. Yeah, just leave your comments down below and um, I'll see you in the next one.